And welcome back, 2023 season, as we are <laughs> officially, we're getting the kinks worked out, but we're all back and running here. Tim Reese, Zach Williams here for the third season for the full count rhythm as we are at the first practice. No game tonight, but we're here just getting to witness and also hone in a little bit for our uh, for our broadcast for this upcoming season for these two months. Tim Reese, can you believe it? They let us back in here. Unbelievable. And we are we are definitely getting the kinks worked out. We had a Tim lot. and I have not talked for 15 minutes alone without realizing what was going on. I promise you. That ball's deep. It's way out of here in the left field. That is a recreation of the Harrison Travis walk-off home run for the full count rhythm's first championship back in July of 2022. But that's not Harrison Travis at the plate this year. Harrison Travis will be an assistant coach for the full count rhythm this but year. Year three, we have opening night coming up Thursday. We're going to go over a lot of information that we already went over that you might have missed out on. It, you did because I didn't turn the volume button up, <laughs> Zach. That was, that was me. I thought my intern was going to handle that. <laughs> my intern always sits over to the right, and he didn't handle that this I, time. I, I had everything up. 99% of mm. the buttons were pressed and turned except that that red button right there. Yep. But so that was just a uh, it was a it was a, trial, it was a trial run. This is a trial run. And, and if you've been watching you see where we've been moving the cameras back and forth. Going to have a couple different looks going this year uh, on the broadcast. Always trying just like the full count rhythm team themselves and Josh Carmen and the whole group, uh, you know, they're updating the team, doing new things each year. We're trying to do new things with the broadcast. If you once again are new to the broadcast, we do it a little bit different. Uh, we actually want your participation. If this is your first time, maybe you have a first-time player on the full count rhythm, we follow along the chat all year long, so you can always be a part of the broadcast uh, here with the full count rhythm as this is practice number one over here at Drake Street Park. But once again, the season kicks off uh, Thursday against the Clarksville Whirlybirds, the now new team in the OVL, but the second team in the state of Tennessee. That is correct. We now have 12 teams in the OVL, the Ohio Valley League, one team in Indiana, nine teams in Kentucky, two here now in Tennessee. Three, year, three years ago, this is the Full Count Rhythm's third year, and the Rhythm was the new team in 2021, and the Louisville Jockeys were the new team in 2022, and now the Clarksville Whirlybirds are the new team in 2023 to round out now six teams in both the North and South Division. And I'll tell you, I'm a full count homer, obviously. But I really hope the Whirlybirds have some great merch and gear that I would like to get a part of, if it looks good. I don't know what it looks like yet, but I know you have a lot you can do with a helicopter. And if they make it look cool with a baseball theme, then I'm, I'm all in on that. Uh, we already have some people popping up on the chat. Uh, Gabby Perel. Oh, my goodness. Hey, guys. Goodness. So nice to be back at Excited for the new season. We saw Levi Perel yesterday uh, at the cookout. He had his undercover gear on. He had a hat pulled way down, <laughs> sunglasses. <laughs> I didn't even recognize him, Gabby, but uh, it was. Uh, I, didn't get his, I didn't get a good Levi Perel hug, although – I don't think he's much of a hugger, honestly. Well, also, it was during the uh, Tim Reese comedy hour while everybody would have been staring at him uh, yesterday at the barbecue meet and greet. So I don't know if he would have gave you a hug in front of, I don't know, how many people were there, 200? <laughs> there was a few. There were a few <laughs> folks there. But uh, uh, he did say he'd stop by the front porch already. So I'm sure those folks were happy to see him back. Mm. But it's great to have – Gabby Perel back and her mother, Mimi, I believe, in Lexington, North Carolina. So we do need to give a shout-out, though, to our assistant today, Todd Neal. Todd Neal. Who, who was the one to recognize that we weren't actually broadcasting. There was no, there was no well, audio. Well, we were broadcasting. You just couldn't hear it. Yeah, that's right. But I'll tell you, what you didn't hear was Oscar Worthy. We were up for some Emmys, some daytime heard, at least. I've heard of James Worthy. I don't know. Is Oscar, <laughs> is that his – is that 
akin to James Worthy. But don't forget this season, as we have for last season, we will be broadcasting Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. Soon to be some other platforms, uh, possibly through the season as well. But those will be the mainstays as it is for this season. All these games, of course, are free to watch. There's no cost. There's no other links or anything like that. And once again, we always love when your participation in the chat all through the season. We love to get to know not only the fa the players on the field, but also their families that are supporting them because these guys did not get to this field by themselves. That is one guarantee. Uh, and this full count rhythm team is a community that everyone is a part of. It's, you know, from all the volunteers, the coaches, players, fans, the family watching on the broadcast who have never even been to Drake Street Park. Uh, you know, that they're all you're all a part of this. So this obviously practice today. We're practice for us as well to break the rust loose a little bit. Tim's been out doing some baseball games throughout this uh, spring with Vol State and Vol State softball as well. So. He's a little bit more lubricated than I am, but uh, we're gonna get it all. We're gonna get it all dialed in this year, and we're excited for it. Marine Thompson says so excited for the summer rhythm, rhythm season. Parents of Jack, don't call me Armstrong That's Thompson. From Reston, Virginia. I, I bet you Lieutenant they're not sleeping Jack. much there. Yeah, they're not resting. <laughs> That's right. They're not resting in Virginia. Maureen Thompson, good to, I did get me a good Jack Thompson hug yesterday, though. He'll be staying <laughs> with the the Hayes, Mike and Kim Hayes. Uh, I don't have all of the uh, host families down yet, but uh, I'm working on my my details and all my information. So You're private investigating of each <laughs> yeah, player yeah. of this team. That's right. I've got a, a, a group of people out. Uh, they'll be doing neighborhood checks, uh, probably doing neighborhood interviews, wherever you're listening from, to uh, get the backstories on each of these guys. Of course, Jack is uh, back for year number two. I haven't counted up how many we have for year number two, but we have four guys that are here for year number three. Two are players. Mm. Two are now coaches. That's Harrison Travis, who hopefully will become a player coach by the uh, end of the year, he had a surgery in March on a torn labrum. Uh, so he will be coaching. And then Tyler Sills is back for year number three after two years of pitching for the full count rhythm. Can you name the two players, Zach Williams, who are back to play for the third year? New Jack City. There you Jackson go. Jackson Benjamin. Jackson Benjamin. He'll be staying with the Neals, Todd and Melinda Neal. Oh, I figured it out. Year. I had it. I lost it for you a second. You didn't have it? Drew Robertson. There you go. There you Drew go. Drew Robertson, the guy who does Guys, it. I pay attention to these broadcasts. You are outside not. Outside of public opinion. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just him. <laughs> you actually listen to me when I talk during the broadcast. Yes. Don't I don't just tune him out. You're not over there looking at Snapchat. Which I believe Walter Benjamin, he checked in. That would be uh, Jack, okay. Jackson Benjamin. Uh, okay. Jairo Rubio. Senior Hido. Tim says. There's no I. Or there's no R in Hido, is there? Todd, Todd Neal. That's Hido my. Rubio is a good friend of Full Count Ministries. Our Josh Cothran says, let's get it started. Talking about this season. And then we have Chris Seller, who's a first-time Full Count Rhythm parent here. And uh -oh. we are I glad we, to I, have you. I think that might be Seiler. Is it S-E-I? Well, it's S. It's E-I-L-E-R. That is an I. That would be. That would be Seiler. Kin to Josh Seiler. We'll blame the computer screen size on that Trevecca one. Rebecca Nazarene University. Chris Seiler, happy to have you watching on YouTube, which personally, nobody asked me, but I'm going to say it anyway. YouTube's <laughs> my favorite way to watch it. When I'm not at the games, and how I watch it is on YouTube because my TV has a YouTube app that's already on, and I'm subscribed, and I just go right to it, and it's the first thing on whenever the games are. So that's 72 inch. And then I can looks hear good on 72 inch, don't I? Exactly. And I can hear Tim. Spinning the plates. <laughs> and sometimes Spinning. I text them in the middle of it just to let them know what's going on. Hey, your camera's off. <laughs> turn hey, the mic yeah, on. Turn the mic on. <laughs> yeah, that's I, I try to do an audio test, uh, uh, usually uh, with somebody in, in the press box, mm. if I can uh, get that done. But actually, I'm not in press boxes very often. No, on, only here. On away games. <laughs> only in the Paducah's home. got the best press box uh, in the Ohio Valley League, so – but 
big season coming up, the full count rhythm. Of course, the 2022 OVL champions last year looking to defend. They have every year of their existence in the OVL have been to the championship. They are 1-1 one one so far. All both years. All both years. And looking to defend it here again. Uh, I was talking with Josh before this season, and he's got some high hopes for this team. Really likes what the bats are going to do. Um, may not be looking as much at the long ball as possible, which everybody loves, but uh, he, he definitely thinks this team is going to be a well-rounded unit uh, coming up for this season. And they, they've got some players. Um, they've got some really good players coming in this year as well. Uh, plus the mainstays who, like you said, have been here for a while now. This team's going to be a fun season. I see Frankie Delgado has checked in. So excited for the season to get started. We're glad that Frankie Delgado is going to be back and hopefully uh, healthy. healthy. Yeah. I, I, as I was saying, I thought, should I say this? <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> I don't I saw, want to jinx them here. But. I saw mom and dad yesterday at the barbecue. It's good to see mm. Frankie, not senior, but senior. Right. Uh, I can't, should I, I, I got in trouble last year. I think I called him old, older Frankie Delgado. Well, it's and better that last year, if you remember right, I thought it was Frankie in the dugout commenting, watching our video feed. Oh. Didn't realize that the father had the same name. From uh, Clinton, Tennessee, over there in Knoxville. That's where Bill's from. Yes. Uh, and Mata, who is Frankie's mother. And I think I met – no, I think that was Harrison Travis. Met Harrison Travis's uh, family as, as well. Of course, Amy, I've, we've known. And met uh, Harrison's dad, William, and I believe it's his sister, Grace, is who uh, that was. They were all sitting over there at the same, same place. Frankie Delgado and Harrison Travis are uh, from Carson Newman. And we have Henry the Eagle Jackson, who's mm. back uh, with us this year. He is on the IL for a couple of weeks starting out. but uh, Got a haircut, too. You know probably that? got them all cut, but uh, he's going to be transferring to William and Mary. Do you have the, any idea what the mascot is for William and Mary? The Panthers? It is not. Mm. If you don't know it, you're not going to just guess it, I don't believe. It's one of those. I'm that guessing had to you change. know it. I do. I did yeah. do a little research and uh, and looked up. I haven't uh, got my roster this year, so I don't <clears> know. <throat> well, I should probably get it before Thursday. You can go online. It's online at full count, fullcountrhythm.com and pull up the current roster. I would say that the Full Count Rhythms website is the best in the Ohio Valley League, and that is thanks to Brooke Carmen, the lovely wife and helpmate of Josh Carmen. So 32 players on the current roster, 17 pitchers, I believe, and 15 position players. Might be uh, adding a few, I think. There are a couple players that are, have not checked in yet, as uh, Reese Holbrook is on the roster with the University of North Carolina that will be playing in the – are they playing in the Clemson? They're playing in, in, with Tennessee, I think, in the NCAA. Is that right? No? Okay. Ten Charlotte. Charlotte. That's uh, I knew there was a Charlotte involved in that. Uh, and then Arkansas is also in the NCAA tournament, and we have a pitcher, I believe from Arkansas. Can't tell you the name right off the top of my head. I wasn't planning on going live here today. William and Mary, the tribe? Well, maybe the Googler could have helped you out a little I bit I didn't there. Google anything. That's, Do no? you see anything that says that? <laughs> and the tribe is incorrect. It's, it maybe politically, but that's the political term that they're going with. No, that's the mascot oh, that's is what they call the the, the in, I will yeah and I think they they changed that even but as I do all through the season I go to the chat for a lot of my answers and Maureen Thompson Maureen Thompson gave us the answer Maureen where what city is uh, William and Mary located in in what city is William and Mary I don't know that I I looked that one up. Obviously, we can look that up. But, you know, when you have listeners, you have a research staff. Yeah. That's what I found out at Our the, fact checkers. the yeah, Volunteer State Community College broadcast. I would uh, – we didn't – they didn't allow me to do chats because they weren't sure if I knew how to handle an inappropriate chat. 
Uh, but uh, I would have an email address that I asked people. Are they to from send. Williamsburg? You know, I don't know. I, uh, I don't know. Frankie the Delgado said Williamsburg. The, there you go. Is it? It is Pennsylvania. Williamsburg, okay. Virginia. Or is it Williamsburg, Virginia? That's what Maureen Thompson just said. Man, we gotta we gotta straighten our Googler out. <laughs> This is, and once again, for everybody out here, there's no practice. game tonight. <laughs> this is practice, practice as well, not only for the players, but also your humble broadcast crew. That is true. As we are getting ready for this year. I would love to tell you who's in the box and hitting right now. They're all wearing blue, and I have no clue. I think that's Frankie Delgado who's warming up as Tim Reese falls over in the press box here. I'm diving for my binoculars. <laughs> Somebody's broken my chair. This is actually Mark McDaniel's chair, I believe, right? No. Whose chair is this? Is it yours? This is, this is Tim's chair. I didn't know he brought his own chair. I didn't know we had the ability to bring our own chair. The chair you're sitting on. There you go. But the home opener is this Thursday coming up. 7.05 will be kickoff time here at Drake's Creek. It's going to be good. And one thing to note, too. If you have not been out to a game, maybe you've just watched, or this season is even more important for you to come out to a game. And I'll tell you why. Tickets are free this season. You will not have to purchase tickets this season to come on out and be a part of the ballpark, be a part of the fun. Have And, and I try to tell people, once again, I'm biased. I wish I wasn't a part of the full count rhythm, so this had more weight behind it. But these games are competitive, fun baseball games. These are fun baseball games to watch, and it's a fun environment to come out to as well. So if you have not been out there and maybe you said, oh, I just didn't want to pay for it because I'm watching for it free on TV, no. It's free here at the park. So that is something to get across for everybody out there, that it is a nice family-friendly thing to do here in beautiful Hendersonville, Tennessee, uh, right here at Drake's Creek Park. And we're going to have a good product for you. Once again, this team, back-to-back -back years, inside of the championship, winning it last year. And not only winning it last year, if you weren't a part of it, they won it in a walk-off winner fashion last year. Uh, one of the greatest, I guess the greatest hit, that we've had so far for the full count rhythm on the bat of Harrison Travis. Uh, so you'll be seeing a fun product. So keep that in mind that this year, completely free to come out to the park and watch the game in person. We've got a, uh, a sponsor for that, I think, but I, I don't know that it's been named yet. I've heard some names that have come across. The, I think AAA Auto Glass is for the foul That's ball. That's be our foul is ball that right? sponsors. Is that, uh, of course, uh, Rhythm, Chrysler, Dylan Dodge, Dorsey. Jeep, and Ram always – Always a tremendous sponsor. They're awesome. Uh, and once again, we do this every year. The team is not named after the Rhythm Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram. That is just a godsend name to go along with the godsend help that Rhythm Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram has given this team as well. Uh, so always want to shout them out uh, and check them out online at RhythmCDJR.com because uh, they are our title sponsor. We're going to have a lot of food sponsors this year. I know Pizza Ranch here in Hendersonville is jumping on. Chris England and staff over there at Pizza Ranch are going to be a part. A um, lot, lot of stuff. I mean, this is, a, this, is not a, this is not a singular helping process. This is a full, yeah, this is a full community we of, got the chicken man back of sponsors. Chick, Todd Hundley. Chick-fil-A, Chick Chick Rivergate. Rivergate. Uh, we can go through all of them. And that's okay. Uh, I, I was just going to tell you who was batting right there. We had, we had a uh, uh, another Frankie Delgado signing or sighting. We also had a Logan Harrell, who is actually on the roster as a right-handed pitcher, but he, he is one of the two incoming freshmen. He will be heading to Treveca Nazarene University here in Nashville. He's basically going to be a two-way player. Uh, he's a switch hitting catcher and also a right-hand pitcher. Then we had Ethan Huddleston, local product from right here in Gallatin, Tennessee. As you see, Drew Robertson, the third-year player and local product from Beach High School who is attending Catawba College down in Salisbury, North Carolina. What do they do down in Salisbury, North Carolina? They is make that? some delicious steaks. Okay. That's, That's what they do down there. <coughs> Salisbury steaks. Is How many Salisbury that? steaks do you legitimately think you can eat in one sitting? I mean, without, like, throwing up? or I mean, Well, I mean, yeah, I'm not saying hurt yourself to do it. I'm just saying 
That how many do you think you can sit down and eat in one good sitting? I have no idea. I haven't eaten a Salisbury steak. You're about as fun as talking to paint. Answer the question. Thirty years. <laughs> I, tell me the size of these babies. I mean, you've seen they're a just, Salisbury. It's just like a little. It's, ha- like it's a not hamburger. a dinner plate. <laughs> I mean, it's a Salisbury steak. Do they, they come? Okay. That's like a unit metric size. Is oh, that's one or two Salisbury steaks. Five. I'll say five. I think five's a good answer. Todd Neal, how many you put down? You've lost. You've He's lost, lost fifty pounds. Fifty he can, pounds. He can have a half of one. <laughs> without any one with, Salisbury steak. Without any uh, uh, gravy. I think okay. that'd be two any chews any for me getting oh, one down. I could have probably six without hurting myself. I will say we also had Henry the Eagle Jackson, who was in the uh, cage just a little bit ago. And this, I believe, is Cooper Holbrook, who is a second-year player back from Vanderbilt University. SEC Championship winners last night over Texas A&M. They will be hosting a regional here. When does that start? couple days something like that friday and friday Saturday is when yep. the uh, first games are all right and the next batter i don't know that face yet but trust me in less than a week i'll know him by sight <laughs> if you see your son out there jump in the chat and let us know cooper waiting for his brother reese holbrook r-e-e-c-e the correct way to spell it reese <laughs> holbrook who's his one year older brother is down at North Carolina. As he will be uh, playing in a regional, so he'll get here. He hopes after the uh, World Series, but I'm not sure if North Carolina. I think they're a number three seed in their regionals. That you're a big UNC, big Tar Heel fan. Is that right? Where are they? No, I thought you were a Tar Heel fan. Oh, I thought you were a Todd Neal Tar Heel fan. How the Vols do in the SEC tournament? <laughs> they went home. One, and, one and done. One and done. Here's your barbecue sandwich. Thanks for coming out. <laughs> but they're a number two seed. But we're excited to be back for this season. I mean, it's it's crazy to think that we're already back here. And I know as soon as we get underway, we'll be quickly into the middle of July saying, oh, we're wrapping up the season already. Uh, but this is truly a fun summer activity, not only for Tim and I, but the entire everyone who's a part of the Full Count Rhythm. Uh, whether you're a fan or you're a volunteer or anything like that, this truly has become – I was talking to Josh Carmen before, and uh, I said, I remember when this used to be the dead period around here, <laughs> and now it's become the busy period very quickly. Six days a week for how many How many weeks? Seven, eight weeks? Up until playoffs, and you get about ten, right? So. 20, 43 games scheduled, 23 are home games for the rhythm, and 20 are away games. As I believe that uh, full count has – Purchased a couple games, maybe one from the Clarksville Whirly Birds and one from the Bowling Green Pistons, who are formerly the Franklin Duelers. Yeah, so uh, I was both those say, teams are owned. The teams they're here. owned by the same uh, owner. Phil Cundell is the owner now of the former Franklin Duelers, now Bowling Green Pistons, and then he has uh, purchased the new team, the Clarksville Whirly Birds. It'll be playing out of Clarksville, Tennessee. I believe they're playing at Rossview High School. I'd have to look and see where Clarksville's uh, games are. I mean, uh, Bowling Green, they're going to be playing at a different site. Last year it was South Warren High School in Bowling Green, but I think they've changed locations. Their website is uh, is a, a bit lacking. As a matter of fact, I don't, th- I don't think they have a Clarksville yeah. Whirly Birds website yet. The Franklin Duelers are right here, though. Yeah. <laughs> On the, on the official uh, OVL website. Yeah, which is the 2022 uh, roster. Yeah, we need to. So well, they have the Bowling Green Pistons right here. Let's see where that goes. The There are new folks running the uh, website for the Ohio Valley League. Goes uh, Zach Bullitt is pulling back. He had, he had been handling the uh, official scoring, the website, and the social media. And I think he was able to find, or they were able to find, a couple different people in the Ohio Valley League to take his place. He'll remain as the official scorer for the Dubois County Bombers up in Huntingburg, Indiana. Mm. But uh, and uh, and for everybody that might be new this year or doesn't know the changes that have happened in the OVL, 
The teams that we have this year, Dubois County Bombers, the Paducah Chiefs, we have the Bowling Green Pistons, the Henderson Flash, the uh, Madisonville Miners, the Fulton Railroaders, your full count rhythm, the Hoptown Hoppers, the Owensboro River Dogs, the Muhlenberg County Stallions, <laughs> the Louisville Jockeys, and the Clarksville Whirlybirds. That will be the entire uh, team set for the OVL uh, this season. And um, it'll be fun. It's going to be a fun year. It's going to be fun to see some of these teams. I mean, there's teams especially that if you're a full count fan that uh, have your eye for those matchups. It's always been the Henderson Flash and the Du Bois County Bombers have been the two teams that I think the past two years have been a real back and forth uh, for for the full count rhythm. Well, it's been a four-team race, really, in the last mm. two years because in the north it's been Henderson who's won it the regular season each year. Dubois County comes in second, yeah. but Dubois County beats Henderson in the second round of playoffs and gets into the playoff round. Full count rhythm has won the regular season both years that uh, they have been in the league and then have defeated, end up being Hoptown Hoppers in the second round both years to get to the championship game. Of course, two years ago. And That's Drew Robinson hitting, by the way. <laughs> I know him. <laughs> Left-handed hitting redhead. Yep. Not hard to point out. Came here as a left-handed pitcher, and now he's playing. I think he was playing center field for the Catawba Indians. Uh, a heck of an athlete, a former full count fall league team Reese member and a champion <laughs> right here on this field. Uh, Drew Robertson played for me. I wonder what the over under of you saying that this, season. you know, every time I see Drew Robertson or Ethan Huddleston two two players for the uh, full count rhythm this year, I'm going to say that they're Ethan Huddleston's going to be Ethan Huddleston, four time full count fall, fall league champion. That's, that's his full name. <laughs> Four time, he is one of only two players in full count fall league history that has won a championship every year he played. The other one was Aaron Kernell, who did not go on to play college baseball, but went to your alma mater, the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga. The big brother. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Emily Shelton says we're excited to watch from Winston-Salem, North Carolina. And Jeff Cruz on Facebook saying, so excited for Tyler to be able to play and grow with the rhythm. Well, Griffin Shelton is from Catawba as well, the third player from the Catawba Indians. He, I think I said something to him yesterday, and it said, it is the Indians, right? And he said, I don't think you can say that. I said, well, you guys need to change it then. <laughs> okay, like the uh, University of uh, – or the Miami University, formerly known as the Redskins, now are the Miami Red Hawks. Very good, Zach. Yeah. Have First that school. one in the cannon ready so, to go. So Griffin Shelton, now tell me, I don't have uh, his parents' names. Who, what's uh, Emily Shelton. Emily. So you, would you say Emily is probably Griffin's mother? I would give it a good shot. I'm going to go with probably Emily. watching, and she can let us know so as well. Em Emily and so – I'll get all this information this is, from Griffin. Yeah, and this is an important piece too. Tim Reese is our resident note taker. Anytime you put in who – let us know who your relationship is and who you're rooting for while you're watching these games all through the season long. We love it because, one, it helps us know who you are and who you're specifically wanting to know. But also, we get to know you. So, go ahead and put that out there. Cassidy Snapka says, go Team Reese. <laughs> My middle girl right there. That is the Rosebud <laughs> with child. Cassidy Snapka going to have a third baby granddaughter of mine will be granddaughter number one two five mm. five and the second one this year as a matter of fact <coughs> rosebud glad to i assume that you've made it home she, i just saw her this morning but they drove back to mississippi let me get back to uh, tyler cruz's turn the camera for us because they're moving jeff, off to the left jeff and missy cruz now if i here's the problem with this <laughs> are you on the wide I'll switch over to this one that's not on the wide, and then I'll let you go to it, and whatever. This is the this is the the practice run of our broadcast here, so things are yeah, things are happening, things are changing. So 
bear with us on this practice run today as the team's meeting up there. And is that Kevin Pomeroy up there too? Pomeroy's out there. Reed Glover was throwing batting practice. Could we not get Pomeroy to wear a full count rhythm to match with everybody, or does he I just probably, have to show up in a gray shirt? He probably came from something. He's n he's not an official staff member. He has a rhythm shirt, though. I'm pretty what? sure. <laughs> you, did you wear? You, do you have your rhythm shirt on? Oh, you have a rhythm hat on, but you don't have a rhythm shirt on. I'm repping, though. Yeah, you are. My brand new, and that's another thing, too. Look out for the merch for the full count rhythm as well. Some of the best merch in the OVL. If you're out here, once again, free tickets. Save your money on the tickets. Come buy a hat. Free tickets, free broadcast. Free laughs. I mean, entertainment all summer long. We'll We'll broadcast both home and away, and, of course, we are going to be uh, at the, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It'll depend on the internet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, by the way, Emily <laughs> Shelton is Griffin Shelton's mom, and okay. dad is Bobby Shelton. All right, Bobby and Emily. Jeff Cruz says, Reed needs Jacob to come in for relief. <laughs> Karen Sims says, can't wait to be there Thursday and Friday. And James Myers says, go Rhythm, go Bennett Myers. Right hand pitching, that, that, repping the big orange. That's who we were talking to yesterday. Yes, it so was. James, and she called she called Bennett, James Bennett. So James is dad. And all right, James, you're going to need to tell me your wife's name again. I've, is it Denise? I'm, I want to say it was Denise. I could be wrong on that. We meet a lot of she, people at she once. Might, I bet he'll tell us. Right, right here. But. And I'm also going to put this out there because it's something that we probably shouldn't say, but, you know, we like to let people know. The easiest way to get talked about on the broadcast, Tim? <laughs> send in a chat. Send it in the chat, but also send up the food. Oh, 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 <laughs> you were – you had you had gone way past where I was going. Okay, <laughs> that is true. You'll get some love if you bring some chocolate chip cookies. Bring some food on yeah. up here. and Do it before the game, though. And we have we, – it's not just Tim and I that are up here. You know, you'll have – Todd Neal running around. We'll have Mark McDaniel. We'll have Ken Stegall. They'll all be out here. And so there's plenty of mouths to be fed up here to, to you know, grease the wheels, if you will. Uh, James says it is Denise. I was correct on that one. Oh, you are. I'm correct telling Amundo. you, James, it's unbelievable. He's a young guy. He doesn't ever write anything down. But it he's it got infuriates a mind. Tim, I'll tell you. <laughs> he's got a mind. Like, he doesn't keep a scorebook. Don't have to. I just he, remember it. All he has is the, the lineup card. And that's what he goes by for his play-by-play -play broadcast. I'm also, when and you see these cameras changing and you see the scoreboard <laughs> moving, just know that that's also happening on this side. Yeah, that's <laughs> We're a team, that's, all right? You're the yin to my yang, all right? Uh, so. You're going to be yanging a lot here, buddy. Uh, <laughs> it's a family-friendly <laughs> broadcast, so yeah, that's true. reel it in a little bit. Trish Howard says, "Woohoo! go Carson and go Rhythm. From Pack Road, Alabama. Mm-hmm. Don't know where that's from. The music stopped playing. Are we done with the music for the night? Probably so. I guess Todd Neal got bored. Well, they're they're having a conversation down there. No coach wants wants music going down there. Rick and Trish were up at the meet and greet barbecue, sitting actually right next to the Myers. Mm. And their son Carson Howard is back for year number two. Ten returning players, Zach. I just counted it up. Ten. Six pitchers, four position players. Now that includes the two that are back for year number three as well, but 10 are back out of the 32. And so. I think, you know, some of these two, Tim, I'll, and I'm not going to speak for every one of them that I talked to, but most that I talked to about the returning players, they they look forward to this more than their regular season ball. Well, some of them are going to get more uh, action uh, in this summer season than they do in, in the regular season. You're not worrying about school as much, obviously, which always, you know, student athlete, student comes first. But, you know, and then all here, it's 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 not a vacation because these kids work <laughs> while they're playing. They're, you know, especially with kids camp coming up next week. Uh, but uh, there there are a uh, – there are some good and fun times with this team, and you're winning. You know, this is a competitive program that's been built by Josh Garman and the full count rhythm. So this isn't – you know, you're not coming up here just to play, and you said it yesterday during the meet and greet. You know, this team doesn't like to lose. We don't like to lose. And uh, – yeah. You, you'll, you'll hear, if you listen to the broadcast this year, you'll hear me probably say from time to time uh, what, how many times we've actually had a two or three or four game losing streak in uh, the last two years. I mean, there's still a team in this league in two years of playing has not defeated the full count rhythm. Railroaders. Wrong. Full, uh, Frank Duelers? Nope. Hold on. 
0 for 2, third one. I can give it, it get, to you. It is rid. the Chiefs. Paducah Chiefs. That is who it was. Still. I was picturing the Chiefs the whole time. I just said the wrong name. So yeah. I got it right, really. Well, again, politically incorrect, right? Uh, the Paducah Chiefs. But Tell Kansas City to change. <laughs> Patrick right. Mahomes and Andy Reid aren't going to change it. Night, Todd Neal's leaving, everybody. Todd, Todd Neal. has left the building. Our, uh, our He got bored. He's our internet guy. <laughs> hey, if it's not for Todd Neal, we don't have a, a broadcast. So thank you to Todd Neal and Verizon. Uh, with, uh, <laughs> allow, allowing us Verizon. to use. <laughs> uh, James Meyer says, I'm a retired school teacher, and I'm terrible with names, which is really bad for being a teacher. <laughs> I don't blame you. It's not really good for a broadcaster either, <laughs> <laughs> James. Maureen Thompson so. says, was not there for the opening welcome cookout, but have to love a restaurant called The Meat Sweats. We will be oh. uh, there parents weekend, and we will check them out. Martin you Tudor and The Meat Sweats. That's uh, year number two that we've had them mm -hmm. uh, that's catered. Uh, I had actually just eaten a m pretty large Mexican uh, Eight. lunch uh, meal, and so I did not have any <laughs> of that barbecue, but I love meat sweats, the meat sweats. And I believe this, uh, we did it last year. I think it's going to continue this year. Some of those maybe, I don't know. I'm just shooting off the hip here. But Might as well. Uh, Friday, food, tr food truck fi Fridays that we'll have at the park. Uh, so, you know, there's different things that are going to be going on and not only just baseball, but uh, theme nights. Once, and I tell you, a popular night for everybody um, and maybe a bank account drowning night. Uh, the uh, oh. the auctionable jersey nights that we have uh, this year, I, I've got a glimpse at some of them, which I don't know what's been announced, so I won't say anything. But oh. uh, there is a new jersey this year that everyone's going to be wanting to get their is hands on. Is that right? Yes. And, and when I say everybody, I mean Zach. So we're going to be – you that got broadcast last year, I, I, I did. I, I paid a price <laughs> while we're on vacation last year. My wife said, why did we spend that much? And I love that jersey. I wear that jersey everywhere. Well. Uh, so it's uh, that's going to be a fun night as well. There's a lot of things going on. Who's uh, did you get last year? Number 21. I'm forgetting his name. Logan Van Treek? Maybe. It? it may have been Big Van Treek. Six foot eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Van Treek. Yeah, that's who I got. He needed that height to get that. Yeah. Width, right? Yeah. Well, both. <laughs> hey, uh, congratulations. Six one on a warm day. <laughs> Let's just congratulate Zach and Maggie Williams, though, on the uh, mm. upcoming birth of their son. We're hoping <laughs> and praying for a healthy baby yes. that's born after the season's over. When is she due? The due date is August 1st. <laughs> so, game three, <laughs> if necessary, for the championship is July 31st. I would hate for Tim... Williams, Timothy Williams, <laughs> to Tim full Timoth count Williams, Timothy Reese Williams, <laughs> to not have his father at the birth because you're calling a baseball game. Yeah, I mean that would be sad. I, it would be sad. It uh, might be your one and only child. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, uh, but no. If you uh, if you see me running through the park come late July, just know that's where we're going to be at. But. Uh, yeah, August 1st, the little man is showing up, so we're excited. And um, I'm excited just because, one, the season's going to be here, and then it's going to foyer right into a whole new season after that yeah, as well. So, yeah, it's going to uh, be a season for you. We're going to be excited. This is an exciting time. I don't know how much longer we're going to be on here for today's practice, but once again, game one Thursday, opening series, it'll be the Clarksville Whirly Birds, new team coming down to Hendersonville to play us here at Drake's Creek. We will be first pitch 7.05. We'll be on air. I think we'll be on air a little bit earlier Probably go 6.45, 6.50 maybe, something like that. I would probably say maybe 6.30 for our opening Whatever night. you say, you're the boss. No, you know. <laughs> I, they're the one who cuts the check. I can't help that, you know. We, we <laughs> might have enough to say. There might be enough. I think there will be. And we're going to try introducing some new stuff too. We're going to work some uh, – uh, dugout interviews. We're going to try to get that going as well this year. So we got a whole lot on the docket. Glad that all of you are going to be alongside with us as uh, it looks like a stretching circle is about to. We're going to pray. Bro. Is that a prayer? I couldn't tell. I saw I saw <laughs> Sills, and it looked like he was stretching. But yeah, We're going to uh, have to get a little closer together. We're going to have some, some contact here. Yeah, so that's uh, got the prayer coming out right here. Uh, but we appreciate, once again, all of your support, and we look forward to a winning season but a fun season here for the Full Count Rhythm. Tim Reese, Zach Williams, we will see you guys once again 
Thursday, 7.05 first pitch. We'll be on air 6.30 uh, for the pregame, getting you ready for the Clarksville Whirly Birds taking on your full count rhythm. Any happy, last words you want to say here, Tim? Happy Memorial Day, folks. Hope mm. you had a, a great day off of work for those of you folks that are still employed and have to get up every morning. God bless you. Retirement is great. Yeah, and God bless the <laughs> troops. And always remember what it's about, you know, not those that have given their lives. Exactly. The Memorial Day, those who died with their uniform on or in the line of duty. So God bless you all. We will uh, have a sponsor. We don't know who it will be for the full count uh, verse of the game. Yes. Uh, so we will conclude uh, our coverage uh, each game with a uh, – a Bible verse. Do you want to do so. one now before we leave? Or I don't know if you have one off the uh, the cuff here. Let's see. The Bible app is always ready. Today's was a good one on the Bible app that I think hundreds of thousands, millions look at. Yep. It, that one is in. Come on. I don't think you've been John, on it a while. you got to update. I'm on it every morning. <laughs> I just don't remember what it was. Yeah, that's. Uh, John fifteen thirteen says, greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. Mm. That is an NIV translation, John fifteen thirteen. My wife brought that one up uh, today. Mm. So she must have looked at the Bible app. There you go. And contemplated on it, meditated on it, day and night, as Deuteronomy s chapter 6 says. <laughs> so... We will see you guys next time once again, 7 o'clock, 7.05, first pitch, 6.30 on air, Thursday against the Clarksville Whirlybirds right here and however you're watching it.